Hi everybody, so today's topic is the second characteristic of compromise connection, which is keeper of knowledge. So if you have connection compromised, you are someone that will try to connect through knowing a lot. So if there was a door that said um, Disneyland and then another door that said lecture on Disneyland, you're more likely to go to the door that says lecture of Disneyland because you can contain that and control that and that gives you a sense of connection. So when you're having conversations with someone, right, you can have the knowledge base and it keeps you safe from emotions, but it also keeps you to a place of where you can feel confident in that. So you're most likely someone who likes to know more than people. And you might be someone who talks more about things than experience things. And again, it's to keep you safe. And if conversations lead to more emotionality, you may actually feel uncomfortable and try to go back to the knowledge that you know. So for example, I was leading a meeting once and, uh, and a psychologist I was working with was giving the results, the test results to uh, parents across the table about their child who had, who had significant needs. And both parents just stopped and had really an emotional moment. And it, it, was, it was really, it was really sad. And the psychologist did not acknowledge it. She looked at them and actually just said, okay, so the next part of the report says this. And she was visibly nervous by the parent's emotion. So that's an example of how, right, connection at that point didn't exist for her. So she went to the safety net of the knowledge. So I hope that helps. Till next time.